Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice, and if you've been here a while, y'all know how much I love unboxings. And so, guess what? That's what we will be doing today. We are going to be unboxing this package. <laughs> So before we jump into this box, I just want to thank you all for being here. For my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for being here. If you are new to this channel and this is your first time watching, thank you for clicking that thumbnail. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you would choose to stick around and join our craftable family. And also make sure if you are not over on Facebook, definitely head over to Facebook and join our amazing Facebook community. It is also Craftable Things. In fact, you can find us everywhere as Craftable Things. So let's get into this box. This press came from Heat Transfer Warehouse and it is a hat press. And I ordered this maybe in like July and or maybe even June and I am just now opening it, all right? So let's see. All right, y'all, so I put it on the ground so that I can uh, pick it up. You want to make sure whenever you get any large items like this, you want to make sure that you hold on to the packaging also just in case you need to send it back or if there's anything that you need repairs on. You want to keep your packaging at least for the first six months or through the warranty. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and took this out of the box. I actually put the box on the ground in order to lift it up correctly. You want to make sure that you hold on to your box and all the padding inside, just in case you need to send it back or in case there's repairs or anything could happen. So definitely hold on to that box for a while or at least through your warranty. But it does come with a manual. And we are going to check it out. And these are the manuals pretty much for all of the heat presses that heat transfer warehouse have. All right, so there will be a link to this press. This is the Walla heat press and or Walla hat heat press. And I will have a link listed below in the description so that you can check this out if you are interested. So I have our instructions out for the cap press and we are just going to go ahead and identify a few things. This is the AC adapter that comes with the machine and that's really all that's in your box. You're just gonna have your hat press and you're gonna have your AC adapter and that is it. So now I wanna see what all the parts are and I need to just clip that zip tie and I wanna check and see how it opens and closes and what that actually feels like. And y'all, this machine is so smooth. So the knob at the top, that is where you would apply your pressure or you would reduce the pressure. It's up to you, whatever you're pressing uh, for you to test it out. But y'all, this is super simple. And even with that lever, this is the auto open. So it will open once it's done or you there's a button that you can press and it will pop it open. And so now I'm just going to get ready to plug this in so that we can get ready to do our first press. All right, y'all. So I'm printing out the image that we're going to be using. We are using this hat from Michaels. Nothing fancy. Um, but I just want to test it out. I've never pressed a hat before and I want to see how this goes. All right, so we are going to turn this on and to turn it on, the on switch is on the side. And so now we are going to have to set the time and the temp. All right, y'all, so this is the auto open press and to set it, you're going to click set. And so we are going to adjust this time or we are just going to adjust the temperature and I am going to move this down to 380 degrees. Uh -oh. 
All right, so we're at 380. And then we're going to move that time to... So we are going to do... Let's do 45 seconds. So while it is heating up, we want to check the pressure. And so I am going to go ahead and get started. Let me make sure. And there is paper. So I want to remove this paper. And I sell these for Michaels. These hats are 80% polyester and 20% cotton. So it should be perfectly fine for us to sub onto it. But this heat press is not just for sublimation. You can apply HTV to your hats too, all right? And I, this hat isn't really the ideal hat to do it, but we are just testing this out, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna check out some of the other parts. And when you place your hat onto your press, there is this lever right here. And so when you pull it up, it helps to stretch in out your hat. And to release it, you're gonna press a little button. I gave it a nice so that looks pretty good, but I can already see an issue here, y'all, because it's already kind of creased right there. But we are still going to go with it because this is really just a test and this hat is going to be for me. So we have it on. I am going to go ahead and kind of stretch it out a bit. Just trying to flatten it out as much as possible because I don't want to really... All right, so this is our logo that we're going to be putting on. It's almost ready. And yeah, y'all. These are not the ideal hats. But we're going to make it work today because I'm very interested in getting this done. And so for this particular press, I am going to place a piece of butcher paper on top. All right, y'all, so we are almost there, and we are just going to place that on top. We are almost ready to press. I should, I could press it now at 377, but I will wait. All right, y'all, not that patient. We're at 379 degrees. Not sure if you guys can see the display. And we are going to go ahead and go with that. It's all done. I did even mention that to adjust the pressure, you just need to turn the knob and there are plus and there's a plus and minus sign on it to let you know, you know, which direction to go to increase or decrease. So we are going to push this back up. And uh -oh. I'm going to take this off and let's see how it came out. I do see this ink through here. So having that butcher paper was a great idea. I'm sure you guys can see it because I can see it on the screen now. So let's see. And this is how it came out, y'all. It looks really, really good. My only problem is where I had that crease before. And I pressed it and it caused that crease but it looks really, really good. I never really thought that I needed or wanted a hat press, but I think I'm gonna make me some more hats, y'all. I think I am going to make more. All right, y'all. So we are all done with unboxing this Walla Auto Open Hat Press from Heat Transfer Warehouse and y'all. I'm loving it. 
I really wish that I would have opened this a lot sooner. This hat came out great. And I'm super excited about other odd shaped items that I could press with it. But it was super, super easy to set up. I really overthought it at the beginning because I wanted very, very detailed instructions about every single thing. But honestly, this is really a plug and go. And the instructions for setting the time and temp is included in the manual. So that was super, super seamless for me to do. As y'all saw, I took it out and pressed it, y'all, in about... 15 minutes. That was it. So I do want to let you guys know that this hat is from Michaels. If I didn't mention it before, it subs wonderfully. But there is like the little line in the middle that kind of, you know, you can't really get it flat, flat. But it came out good. It subbed really well. Of course, it's 80% polyester. So if you are interested in subbing onto these hats, you definitely can. I am going to be testing out more hats and other ways of using this hat press. Be sure to check out Heat Transfer Warehouse. My affiliate link will be listed below in the description if you are interested in grabbing you one of these presses. Y'all, and it's an, an automatic one. I just press the button and it pops open. Y'all, I'm loving it. Super, super easy, super user and beginner friendly. So check it out. If you enjoyed this video today, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are not a subscriber, I would love it if you would stick around and hit that red button below and subscribe to my channel and become a part of our family. In addition, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and follow us in all of those places as well. But that's going to be it for today, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.